Welcome back to JustMakeGames.com. Thank you, MonkeyVFX, for the awesome YouTube intro. Here's a link to his channel. And if you haven't checked out the new JustMakeGames.com, check it out. It's at a complete renovation. It's a lot more interactive with a lot of new features. We're getting back now to Just Make Games Learning Center's CryEngine 3 course, making a free community game with tutorials. And you're welcome to join in our game or just use the tutorials in your own game. But please participate in the JustMakeGames.com's Learning Center. And we are now at part two of importing our own custom player with a custom rig using custom animations. Make sure you check out part one of this series. And if you're a little lost for some reason, we're going to include a zip with the 3DS Max scene file as well as the object file so you can replicate this tutorial in your own preferred modeling program like Maya. And we're including the exported character files also so you can just drop these into your CryEngine game objects characters. Uh, player name folder and if you open in the character editor the skeleton character file you actually need to go down here very bottom into debug options and set the flag for show skeleton to true and you'll know you've done everything correctly if you have something similar on your screen so everyone should be up to date and we're going to continue now 